Hello friends, welcome to today's Daily Devotion. I'm Kerry Wood, pastor of the Goldston Methodist Church in Goldston, North Carolina, and we are preparing ourselves for Christmas, the wonder of it all. Today's scripture is from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 10, verses 13 through 16. Hear now these words. People were bringing little children to Jesus for him to place his hands on them, but the disciples rebuked them. When Jesus saw this, he was indignant. He said to them, Let the little children come to me, and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Truly, I tell you, anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. And he took the children in his arms, placed his hands on them, and blessed them. Why is it that we as adults sometimes get so caught up in ourselves that we forget that children are people too? How often is it that we have lived into that idea of children are to be seen and not heard and even better, not seen or heard at all? And yet for Christmas time, this is the one time of year that we as adults, we will look at our children and we will just, oh, isn't it wonderful? We will think about all of the ways in which the wonder of Christmas is reflected in the eyes of our kids. I can remember when I became a granddad for the first time and thinking about my little Ellie and then later her little sister Charlotte and all the fun that I get to have in spoiling them for Christmas. Well, my friends, today let's take a look at Jesus and how he treats the children versus we as adults and how we treat the children. Jesus loves kids and all of us need to be as his kids approaching the wonder of the story of Christmas with the eyes the attitude of a child there's a story about a, a little boy who goes with his mom into the the local store and the owner of the store happens to be at the cash register when the mom and the boy come up to the counter to make their purchases and sitting there on the counter next to the cash register is this big jar full of various hard candies well, the owner of the store sees this little boy and he decides that he's going to be generous. And he says, hey, kid, if you want, you can reach in and grab yourself some candy. Well, the boy looked at the candy jar, but he did not reach out his hand to do anything. The owner looked at the mom and she kind of shrugged her shoulders. And the, the owner looked at the boy again. He said, hey, did, did you not understand? You can reach in and grab as much candy as you would like. And the little boy just continued to stare at the candy jar. Finally, the owner of the store reached in with his hand, grabbed a whole handful, brought it out to the boy and said, here, take it. And the little boy had to have used his two hands in order to hold everything that the owner in his one hand gave to the boy. Well, as they walked out the store, mom looked down at her son and said, honey, did you not understand that he was giving you the opportunity to get as much candy as you could? And the little boy looked at his mom and immediately said, But mommy, didn't you see how big his hands were? The little kid understood that the man's hands were bigger than his own. Well, my friend, God's hands are bigger than our own. The wonder of Christmas is that God's hands reach down to you and me with more than we can possibly imagine. This is how we should understand the wonder of Christmas as little children. And I'll see you tomorrow for our next daily devotion.